<laughs> guys what's up we are back doing another video uh sorry about the back of my trunk right now lately i've been helping with the sellers and everything so that's why you see all all these pitchforks and everything out here um also my freaking double-sided um 50 amp for uh two ports and everything but i wanted to do this video to kind of show you guys um these toolboxes um i know i did get a question last time about uh where did i get this i got this at our um, coastal which is basically considered like menards or tractor supply stuff like that here in the pacific northwest and so i figure i give you guys a little bit of rundown on this box as well as give you guys a little tour on these side truck boxes because i have not seen an actual good tool review of these boxes um on youtube at all and so i just wanted to give you guys my opinion i've had these for about a month now and uh, i thought maybe you know again tool review or toolbox tour as well as a toolbox review so um let's get into it i actually have two of these um we'll start off over here on this side this is more of my miscellaneous um and these i think are made um by dz because this is almost the exact, I think, I believe, that's the exact same number on the DZ boxes uh, that are constructed. Um, so they are just constructed by DZ. They just don't have the plate on here that says DZ. Um, again, uh, we'll go into this. But yeah, that's what I paid for these boxes. Uh, the, I've been waiting for my Montezuma uh, John Deere edition to come in for a while now. Um, it's kind of limited. So... Um, just waiting for one some for that one to come in so i can actually mine i already got the bracket and everything ready to go on there um so yeah um if you guys are wondering the reason why i have these brackets on here is because these boxes even though you mount them on here depending if you're just using these boxes um for example you're not going anything like off-roading or anything like that these boxes they'll do okay for farming and anything around here around bumpy areas you need some kind of support because these they tend to wobble a lot um i haven't mounted it on yet i just put the first bolt on here uh, i already drilled the second ones over there and down here and i just gotta tighten this bracket so what this will do is if you see over here on this one it'll allow it won't allow it to move and jiggle as much whereas this one even though it's mounted to the bottom it still wiggles and that's a big issue because um, this is one gauge steel, so it's not very thick. So if you hit a good size bump, this thing could rip off and everything. So um, better safe than sorry. And I, around, again, around farming, I throw a lot of stuff back here. So having these brackets um, as a barrier to kind of protect the boxes from getting destroyed on top is something that's very helpful for me. Um, I'm thinking about putting another one to go just weld another bar in the middle so that way if I throw something on top it won't damage the boxes because again this is very thin steel one gauge um, as for weather weather stripping it is fairly it does hold up fairly well um, again um, I'm trying to think of it um, but you know moisture, moisture for example oh I'm drawing blanks right now I can't think uh, the humidity, you can't keep the humidity out here. So, for example, if it's um, snowing or something like that and everything's melting, the box is melting off that ice or whatever, you, your tools will get a little bit of humidity. That's why I kind of spray them down with uh, some um, synthetic... Um... Oh, I, can't, I can't think of it right now, but uh, where is it? I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Da -da. <laughs> some silicone spray so that allows my wrenches sockets and everything to um prevent them from rusting and so um well without um without further ado uh, we'll get into this toolbox tour but again if you guys are looking into these boxes i do recommend it probably recommend the d easy because they are about 50 dollars cheaper um i think um what is it? Iron Ton makes another one, and they're by Northern Tool. And I think they're also around the 250, 300 mark. So, you know, just whatever you guys want to support. Um, as for me, these were again at my local coastal, which is similar to like a Menard or Tractor Supply out here in the Pacific Northwest. So that's why I decided to go with it because they were there. Um, I used to have the 26 inch US General. I don't have it anymore. I sold it 
so that way i can you know i bring down the cost effect of these because it took up so much room as you can see from over here at the beginning that's where that one started and that's where the the box ended i mean i had a good amount of space but i couldn't do really anything else so this cleared up a lot of trunk space so we'll move on here we'll start off with my miscellaneous drawer i do have these like john deere magnetic strips that you know kind of labeling um but we'll start up here again with the first drawer and we'll go uh razor blade knife magnetic tool pickup tool uh snap on 12 foot measuring tape uh these this is a 21 millimeter for my ford f-150 22 millimeter for my gmc uh sierra work pickup that i keep with me uh sawzall blades ink pen uh synthetic grease uh two-way valve systems for airing up airlines to release the brakes on trucks uh some adapters and everything for my hose uh for my air hose gun uh grease fitting uh pressure washer i'm trying to think of the name for these but uh the tips for the pressure washer because out uh, here the they you know pressure washers are a thing that we have plenty of tips is something that we don't so i carry my own um when we're washing equipment just to be safe um step bits and everything my milwaukee um tool for my grinder uh to tighten feeler gauges and everything um these are for the john deere extra uh, connectors uh, pen uh, but yeah that's my uh, miscellaneous drawer uh down here this is my electrical um it's a work in progress uh, but i got the snap-ons um love these flyers i'm um, probably my favorite wire strippers once you break them in they're just like butter uh, electrical tape these are the lyles um handyman with a magnetic base that you just place down there in case you need an extra helping hands uh test connector milwaukee wire strippers okay uh the snap on um i can't remember the names of these but they're the the dykes designed for the plastic and zip ties and everything jokari um uh, bigger for, uh, this is for use for bigger like 50 amp cords like for these so you can actually put these on this and just drop it and slice it uh, I know Matco rebrands these as their own as well uh, Milwaukee uh, fastback uh, razor knife always got to have an extra one um, some thread seal tape some soldering uh, I'm sorry. Uh, and then we got some fuses back there. Sorry, guys. It's It's been a long week. I, and so, yeah, so I'm a little bit. 3-in-1 uh, oil. Uh, these are the snap-on um, adapters. So this is a snap-on 3-8 to a quarter. Snap-on 3-8 to 7-16. Snap-on half-inch to 7-16 um, adapters. If you guys actually want the part number, there's the part number for you guys. Um, these are pretty cool um, but if you guys don't have an impact or anything of that nature you can put this on your gun and make it a quarter bit so yeah Bring that with me mm -hmm. and we got it back here scrape uh carlisle scraper uh i'm having to use it a lot and then this is just a cheap um, Harbor Freight uh, punch, and, punch and chisel set. So, yeah. And again in green because I love green. Uh, this is the snap-on pick pouch uh, with the miniature screwdrivers on here. And I'm sorry about the glare of, this, of the sun and everything. It's almost pure daylight out but yeah these are awesome highly highly recommend these uh i also really enjoy them uh and then some cheapo harbor freight files 
Uh, got to make some room for my snap-on ones in here. But again, this is just something I threw all together just because I needed my boxes up and running as farming has started and we are up and running. So, yeah. And then this has to be one of my favorite drawers. This is my quarter slash um, quarter impact and Allen key and everything. This is just in here. Um, this is a Carlisle Crescent wrench. Uh, this is the eight inch. Yeah, if you guys are interested, there's the your, where's your part number on these? I think that's just the patent number. But yeah, this is the eight inch and everything. Uh, four millimeter Carlisle Allen has screwdriver um, for the um, for the inside terminals for these for the male and female heads. Uh, these require four millimeter Allens as well as the locking collars and everything. And then we got snap-on Torx. In here, the snap-on security Torx. Uh, snap-on stubby Allens. These are the metric. And then we got the standard snap-on Allens. And then we got your assortment of a little bit of everything. So we got, these are snap-on uh, 3.8 Allen standard <laughs> and this is a quarter stubby or uh, four millimeter and all these are the milwaukee quarter quarter inch socket set uh, i only have the sae in here i really don't need the metric these are from husky these are their cheap um kit that you get in during christmas i think it's like 30 bucks and you get all the allens phillips Torx, everything you need uh just carry a little bit of everything in case someone needs a like hey i need an allen or something like that I can let them borrow one of these instead of my nice ones. Uh, th this right here is from Ulsa Tools. This holds all my bits and everything for my quarter impact gun. Um, more Allen key sockets. These are from Astro. And these are for rounded off Allen heads. Um, they, they work okay. Uh, Carlisle Roto Ratchet, 100 Tooth. Um, got the snap-on quarter in there as well. Uh, these are the cheapo standard Harbor Freight. I did get my snap-on in, uh, which you guys probably have seen. Um, that hasn't been in yet. It, it made its way into the box. Uh, love this little um, locking flex head from Carlo Quarter. Awesome, awesome little wrench. And now to put back everything. But yeah, this just kind of gives you an idea, guys, also, too, of, like, you know, what all you can fit in here. Because I managed to fit a good amount of stuff. Uh, you do want to grease those slides very frequently because they are only held on by rivets. So that's one of the downsides of these boxes. But, you know, they hold in place and everything. And I've done 100 plus miles an hour in this truck. Um, and they've, you know, held everything in place. To just, they haven't broken down on me or anything and i've hit bumps and everything in canals and trucks lifted off the ground a few times and these boxes have stayed still nothing has broken or anything so um yeah uh these are the r1 extractor 38 socket set another milwaukee magnetic measuring tape for whenever i'm doing welding projects and everything it's always nice to have one of these um that way you can just um, stick it onto whatever you need, you're working on and so it's pretty nice. I use that again for like uh, welding projects and everything. Um, I will say these boxes don't f uh, fly out all the way like the US General did um, and some of the snap-ons. Um, that's the uh, one of the downsides. Uh, measuring level, razor blades, uh, three inch cutting off wheels. Uh, these are drill bits. This is uh, the Milwaukee again, more bits. Uh, Sawzall blades and everything in there. So that is my uh, first box. That's more uh, miscellaneous specialty things, etc., etc. This is my main box that I work out of. Um, gotta love that, right? John Deere. Everyone thinks it's a John Deere box, but it's really not. That's just one of the stickers. All right. And then over here, we got um, these are labeled a little bit better. Again, you can see sockets, ratchets, uh, pliers. Don't ask to borrow <laughs> screwdrivers, all that. Uh, we'll start off with down here, or up here, I should say, with my screwdriver drawer. 
uh, snap on six piece um, screwdriver set from one Phillips, two, and three. And then from your flats, uh, I, I can't remember the sizes, but um, it comes with a three piece set, enough for what I need. Uh, these are just from Home Depot, Husky Studies. Um, I love this tool, it's like a chisel, but for a screwdriver. And these things can take a good beating. Uh, mostly use these uh, for cleaning out dirt off of bearings and everything. It's hard to reach places where I don't want to mess up my nice screwdrivers. Uh, I use that. Um, then we have the Milwaukee. These are the electrician screwdrivers. These are rated for a thousand volts and everything. Um, pretty sweet. Always use this when I'm working on any type of electrical stuff like that. Uh, just to be safe. Uh, this is my standard drawer right now i don't have any metrics because again i did do my did do my giveaway where i give away my milwaukee ratchet and wrench set to one of you guys which is, um uh, who was it something farm i can't remember right now but congratulations to that guy you should be seeing your wrenches here very very soon um but yeah again uh everything in here ratcheting regular uh what is it double double ended wrenches these are the snap on ones uh, for hydraulic lines and everything awesome wrenches but everything in here from quarter all the way to 11 16 is in this box i'm thinking about maybe putting my three quarters in here uh just because I, I i think i have enough room and then i also got my um adapters in here this is my quarter to three eighths three eighths to half inch half inch to th uh, three quarters uh, for my impact gun uh, and another um half inch to three quarter adapter um and this this drawer also contains these are the icon ratcheting wrenches i got the carlisle's uh, gear wrench 120 xps um again you guys saw i got the snap-ons in here so um yeah plenty plenty of tools uh this is my plier drawer i got the these are the kinepics uh dykes and everything we got the pwz's these are the ones love these again for hydraulic work snap ring pliers um i do have the the quick connect change for all these i have that in that box and the top in the miscellaneous but i can get away with almost anything with these um mostly all snap on in here snap on these are the ones for the bolts grabbing bolts i can't remember the name of it smaller channel locks Vice grips, Milwaukee, uh, Husky vice grips. These are the extra, extra leverage uh, snap-on pliers, snap-on dikes, snap-on pliers. But these actually have the teeth as opposed to, or are they, as opposed to these that don't. So yeah, and then uh, snap on needle nose in there, uh, PWZs, uh, these are the zeros, again in green. These are the 11 inch snap on dykes, uh, long handles, I love these for the extra leverage. Uh, you can cut almost about anything if you can get enough force on them, so those are awesome. Uh, snap on duckbill pliers these are great as well i normally like to use these for in the back of uh, tractors to pull out fuses and then we got the pwz's these are the number twos that i carry in here these are awesome and then in here i also have my snap on impact swivels these are my three eights this is the set that i bought from 7 sixteenths to 3 quarter. It does skip 11 sixteenths, but it's okay. And then these are my snap-on metrics from 10 to 15. I am thinking of extending that set all the way up to 19 or 18 at least. Um, so yeah, that's that drawer. Let me try and get everything organized back in here again. It's going to be a, a hassle. But I think we can do it. Mm -hmm. there we'll put that there put some uh, common things to grab 
right there. That goes there. Uh, bada beam, bada boom. Again, pliers drawer. Uh, if you guys can see that. This is the my standard uh, bigger wrench drawer. And this also holds my half inch um, ratchets. So these are, uh, this holds basically everything from my gear wrench to, oh, sorry about that guys. So yeah, it goes all the way from three quarters all the way up to an inch and a quarter. And again, I got everything in here from car lattes to gear wrench. Uh, I have a 15 16 snap on somewhere buried underneath there, um, but I'm not gonna try and dig that out. And then we got the extensions for the impact gun for my half inch, um, my favorite half inch uh, ratchet right now. And this is the uh, the adjustable. Um, love this, love this. Um, uh, that all is in there. Uh, what else is in here? Um, Carlisle smaller ratchet um this is like uh, for loaner or something if someone's working with me whatnot then we got here uh, this is my has to be my favorite favorite drawer out of all of them because this is uh my 3 8 drawer um there we go Let's see if we can get this a little bit better but this holds everything in here. These hold, this holds all my ratchets, uh, snap-on, flex head, um, locking flex head, Carlisle uh, uh, fixed uh, three-eighths ratchet, snap-on. Uh, this I believe is an eight-inch, eight or nine-inch um, hard handle. We got another fixed head. Um, Comfort grip, snap on hand, 3 8 ratchet. We got my loner, Carlisle, um, round head ratchet. Uh, this is not that fine, but you know, for whoever's working with me or whatnot, this is the loner ratchet. Uh, stubby, oops, stubby, uh, Maco 88 tooth. So, I really enjoy this actually. I mostly use this uh, for with my Allen heads, and I use it to take off everything on those. I, I use the stubby one. Um, super awesome. Maybe I've been looking into, like, maybe getting some more uh, Mako ratchets. Uh, and then here is the Mac tools. This is the 18-inch uh, locking flex head. Uh, what is this? What do they do? 90 tooth? Ac Mac access ratchet? So yeah, so these are my 3 8 ratchets. Uh, I got extensions in here, chrome. This is also got the locking um, snap-on in there. I got to put in my my Wobble Pluses in there. Uh, snap-on 5 8 spark plug. And then everything in here from my tap holders and everything. Uh, these are snap-on as well. They just rebranded Irwin. But yeah. And then these are the Icon um, metric sockets. I can even, yeah. So yeah, so metric from, I believe it's eight all the way to 19. And then we have over here the standard from, what is it, five sixteens? Or what's the shortest? Yeah, five sixteens all the way to one inch uh really love those sockets uh we have more more adapters in here we have um half inch to quarter or to three eighths um we got uh snap on three eighths one inch extension we got these are the milwaukee most frequent uh use the ones that i use these are the 916 and half inch uh shallow or thin wall sockets um we got over here the Harbor Freight swivel socket. And then these right here are all snap-on uh, standard impact shallow sockets. So, yeah, guys. <laughs> that's pretty That's pretty much uh, my my drawer, my ratchet and socket drawer. That's probably my favorite drawer out of all of them. Um, 
so yeah hope you guys enjoy this little toolbox tour and also to review for how much these boxes can hold my opinions on it um for those looking to buy uh this box so just be aware um it does keep some water out obviously if you keep drenching and everything it, some water will seep through but it does have this little um small thin uh weather strip right here that will help prevent some water from getting in and then we got um the overall review of you know like just be careful with these because again they are riveted so it's one of those things you just want to look out for but yeah guys hope you guys enjoyed my uh again my review and my toolbox tour for these uh dz uh side boxes that you never really see on there but this is how i have it kind of set up right now for farming as harvest is about to get started uh next video you guys probably see will be um adjustments for the tractor and everything that we're going to be doing so yeah hope you guys enjoy and again um remember guys we'll be giving away another giveaway 500 subs and then another one at a thousand so remember to subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next one deuces